So I guess, Nick, we'll just talk about where's your health at. I know you haven't pitched a whole lot the last month or so. Tell us where you're at. Uh, I'm almost there, and I'm uh, feeling way better. Just really excited on the, just the day-by-day -day thing, just the way my body's been feeling. So looking forward to getting back out there. I know I'm supposed to have like a little side slash little live BP tomorrow, so that'll be kind of like the final test before I, uh, I feel like I should be able to get back into the game. So I'm really looking forward to it. Do you anticipate uh, throwing much here in this Futures game? Uh, so uh, actually, I'm not going to uh, be able to attend that. You know, uh, I'm truly blessed to have the opportunity and just to uh, be named a, a Futures game star again. So it's kind of a tough decision to uh, to think about in between having want to go have fun and, 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 and get another great experience and or to stay here and kind of just think about my health and, and just really think about this season. I know uh, this is a big season for me and I really just want to come back out and finish it strong. So uh, I just, we're going to build off of that. So. Well, I did see you throwing over here, so must must be feeling pretty good from yep. that standpoint. Mm -hmm. Is that relatively new, or you've been do, be able to do that anyways? Uh, I actually been kind of doing that these like the whole time I've been down. Uh, I kind of probably took a couple of days off, and just you know, it was uh, just that feeling again. You know, you take a couple of days off and and just 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 regroup. So it been feeling better day by day, and just kind of listening to the plan. You know, it could be some days I feel better and be like, okay, I think I'm ready, but just think about it overall, and I really just want to come back and, and not go down again. So just kind of think about that and just making sure that I put my health first then you know, go out and just want to have fun, so. So the decision not to go to the Futures game, did that just happen, or is this something you've been thinking uh, about? Actually, so when, when the incident happened, I didn't know I made the Futures game when I uh, went out, but when, I, when we came here and we're going through the process of figuring out, like, what's wrong or really how I'm feeling, uh, uh, kind of just the thought, I kind of thought about it and then uh, talked with the front office, uh, had a call with them and they just felt like it was best for me to stay here and, and just really think about myself and like put my health first. I know I probably could feel good today or feel good tomorrow, throw and then go out for one inning and try to go 100% when I haven't even threw in this. So kind of just that situation, I, I feel like it was a smart decision and I was ready to uh, go on playing with what the front office had for me, so. And I wanted to ask you about your trip to Birmingham, how much fun that must have been and what it was like for you. Uh, it was it was amazing. I know I, uh, I had a chance to go see the Kansas City uh, Museum. So to be able to see both ones and, and kind of just see the difference. And like there it was like, a little bit of like I guess you could say older and just I feel like just a, a little thing a little bit about everybody that played in the game I know I play a lot of MLB the show so I I just seen some of the names and stuff but just to be there and to see everything I mean truly blessed opportunity not like you see like not everybody had a chance to go see that so I just uh, respect this organization for MLB for uh, just giving us the opportunity to uh, see that and enjoy that game so What's it mean to you to follow in those players' footsteps? I mean, everything. I know when I first started playing this game, my dad always, growing up, always said it's not going to be easy. So just just being able to see the past, like I know my dad always preached to me a little bit about the past or the guys he watched and all the guys that came before. But to, as I got older, as I'm getting older and just respecting the game and, and just really wanting to learn more about, like, like what it really took to get here and for this game to uh, be where it's at today, so. What do you think? I was just saying, just so we're accurate, how would you describe what your injury was? Uh, it was like another weird kind of incident. Just felt something like, felt good, went out, felt good going into the start, uh, went out for the inning, came and sat down, kind of had like a long inning and just kind of sitting there. I, I think maybe the heat might have played a part in it down there in Corpus, but just kind of just the feeling in my body and just it just didn't feel like it was there and when I went out and threw a pitch I, I knew like I couldn't compete at like my uh, fullest so I was just like just thinking about it I just came out the came out of the game like before I went out and then to come back out like I just want to make sure that we get this and get on top of it. You spell the weakness? Yep yeah, you could say that just kind of that but I felt good so I feel like just like now 
this like the future game situation as far as like not trying to rush back into things like I wish I could go or I still kind of want to go but just just thinking about it and, and just really just thinking about my putting their health first that's that's the main goal and I know you know Quinn obviously made the team too your new teammate Quinn yeah. Matthews have you told him what to expect and what was your favorite part that kind of still lives in your memory from last year uh really everything just being out on the field I know doing BP I was telling them like I mean it just felt unreal just to be out there and be on the big league field and just the stadium full and guys scream your name like the fans guys traveling all over just to get a chance to even just see you so just uh the event is amazing itself and I, I talked with Quinn I told him uh I mean it's gonna be everything you thought of and, and even more like the drilling that you're gonna get there is just gonna be unreal it's kind of like a a debut but before your debut so kind of just I told him just soak it in and, and just go compete go compete for itself as organization and for me too since I won't be able to go play with him but uh, I'm sure he's gonna have fun and and I hope he go out there and do the best he can for us. Last one for me, you know, you were pitching well, you know, obviously until the injury kind of sidetracked you a little bit. You know, for a hitter when they miss time, obviously getting timing back is kind of something that takes yeah. a little while. Mm -hmm. For what's the challenges for a pitcher when you're when you spend a little time away from the mound? Really the same thing. I know uh, I, I always joke around my I take two days off and feel like I ain't through in a month. So just kind of just getting that feel and then you know also just when you feel like an injury and just those things when you throw, you kind of be a little timid to co go out there and kind of let it loose. So just kind of just recognizing the body and, and just gaining that trust back into uh, trusting that you're fully healthy. So that's been the main thing that, that we're just trying to get on top of. Good to have you back. Thanks. Thank you, sir. I thought of one other thing when he was just asking you about the the medical situation. Do they? How does? What, what's the routine with that? Do they? Do they do scans or anything like that to, uh, to see? Take a look. Yeah. So I got an MRI. So that was like one of the things that kind of slowed the process down a little bit. You know, just there was just since the incident, just just to make sure it was clear to clear the mind and just to, to just have somewhere to go. So it came back clean. So just. Took a couple of days off, strengthen back up, do the exercises, and then just kind of start playing catch again. So it's been about a week, week and a half or so. So just it's been feeling way better, and I'm excited to uh, for tomorrow to go out and, and really see how I feel, and hopefully I can be back in the games and, and go compete.